Hello, uh, this video is going to be about adding amplification to your Phantom 2 Visions Wi-Fi range extender. Um, this will work with um, any Wi-Fi, um, whether it be the range extender that comes with your Phantom or uh, the third-party repeater as discussed in another video I have. Uh, this is particular one is a Sunhands 2 watt 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi amplifier. Um, it's power source. It comes with a um, a plug that is um, six volt two amp. Although it will run off of a five volt two amp USB power source. It comes with a, a single cable or an an SMA male. This is what an SMA male looks like, and this is what an RP SMA male looks like. This is the cable that comes with. You will need a secondary cable to connect to your antennas. Um, so, and, and the repeater itself, I mean the um, amplifier, see to the radio is a SMA female, and the one that goes to your antenna is an RP SMA female. Although it's confusing because you see the uh, pin there, but an RP is reverse polarity, so to the to the antenna is an RP SMA connector. Um, the way I make my connections on my modified range extender, if you haven't seen, you need a modified range extender for this to work. And my particular range extender, only one of the two outputs has the proper output, so I'm using it out of that one. Although I think both worked well at one point, I'm not sure. But anyway, you only really need one antenna out of this anyway. So, the way I make my connection, <coughs> and I have this is, and I'm using industrial strength Velcro I got at Home Depot to attach everything. So, uh, this goes to the radio. So let me use this short connector to the radio. Um, got my female SMA and male SMA. Screw that. I have two RP SMA connectors on my range extender. So that's that. This will go into the RP SMA connector on my range extender. And this just sits here with the Velcro. And this goes into my RP SMA female. And the antenna that I am currently using with this is an example of a circular polarized antenna. This is a right-hand circular polarized. Um, if you're using this with an unmodified or a stock Phantom 2 Vision, you would want a left-hand circular polarized antenna. You can get left-hand circular polarized antennas from companies like FPVLR. Uh, that's Frank Papa Lima. Uh, so FPVLR, Lima Ray. Frank Papa Victor, Lima Ray. So, but this antenna comes with an SMA female. Uh, so I'm going to connect my SMA male antenna. This cable I bought separately on eBay. Uh, this particular one was a male to uh, male SMA, so I'm using an adapter. I do have another cable on the way that is SMA to RP SMA. But I have an adapter, so that's a male RP SMA. Again, attached with the Velcro. But first, let me make the connection of to the to antenna side. This goes to the antenna, so that screws here. To power it, I 
have a USB to DC jack. Here's a USB to DC. This is the correct size. I just happen to have this cable sitting around, which was convenient. I think this is a 2 millimeter or 2.1 millimeter. But this goes to my 2 amp out on my 10,400 milliamp USB battery, as I have a 2 amp output on here. And conveniently enough, I can see the power that I have left. So that plugs here. And of course, I could Velcro this to the back of my controller if I wanted to. It would sit easily enough. Wow, but I just stuck it in my pocket. And it goes into here. And it's perfect. I put my range extender on. Then you're going to see this... Uh, Start turning green, or it might not start turning green until it actually connects with my phantom. Let me turn my phantom on. There you go. Flashing green light. But it's as simple as that. Let me power my vision off. So, this is still pretty light and portable, despite its size, with the length of this antenna. But, um, FPVLR has a really nice antenna that's a half dome. You're going to get about half the range of this antenna, or two-thirds of the range. But, you, but it's way more convenient, and you don't have to point it as accurately as you do this style antenna. Um, so, um... Let me power this off. So, very simple. And imagine this just being there. You've got high power using it in a fairly small package. And plug that now. And the Velcro holds on pretty nicely. Um, there is a newer version of the Soon Hands. I got this one on eBay. No, no, I got this one on Amazon. It was under 40. Um, there's a newer version that looks a little bit more streamlined and flat. Um, it uses a different power source. It uses 12 volt 1 amp source. And from what I hear from some people is that it apparently has a slightly cleaner power output. Um, oh, also something that I forgot to add is that it's recommended that you use an attenuator um, on the source that goes from the amp to the radio. That, that would be this one. Uh, because um, these amplifiers are designed to take no more than a certain power output going into it, which I think is 100 milliwatts or something, and these extenders have the potential to bump, pump out a as much as 120 I think but over the 100 milliamp spec so um, you'll want to use a 2 a 4 dBi or a 6 dBi attenuator plugged into here just to make sure you get a nice clean signal otherwise you might get a slightly distorted signal and may not get as optimal an output as you could possibly get and it may reduce the life of the amplifier um, I've used it like this without the attenuator, but I have one on order, and I'll be comparing results later on when I have the chance to fully test this to the limits. But thus far, I'm extremely happy with the results. I have the new version of the DJI application, but not the new version of the firmware on the Vision, because I don't want to cripple it with that uh, new firmware that comes with the Assistant version 3. But um, I was using the previous version of the firmware in my Phantom, um, with a new version of the app running at 640 by 480, 30 frames per second. It ran flawlessly, no connection losses at all. I've only tested it out to a little bit beyond 2,000 feet at, <laughs> at roughly half that altitude, and it ran flawlessly, no connection losses, perfectly smooth throughout the entire flight. 
at 640 by 480 30 frames per second. I'm excited to find the time to test it to its furthest potential. Um, although people that use similar setups to this with the uh, antennas changed on the Phantom itself on lower preview quality settings have gone as far, uh, far as like f 5 kilometers. Um, this is a skew planar antenna, also RHCP. Um, the built-in antennas on the Phantom Vision are LHCP. So again, if you're going to leave your antenna stock, you'll want to get an LHCP antenna, which again is available. A couple of different companies make it, at least two or three. FPVLR makes some really nice looking quality uh, antennas, among others. Uh, <clears throat> and you want to keep these as far as away from each other as you can and outside the body. Eventually I'm going to redo the mounts on this, have them both pointing down but a little bit outside the body and below the camera so the camera can't interfere as much, especially for when I'm circling, circling, circling around, rotating. Um, Anyway, I also have a 2.5 watt version of the new Sunhan Zamp coming in, and since that uses a 12 volt output, I do have a Ref Power 15,000 mAh power source that has both a 1 amp and 2 amp USP. Um, and it has a DC output. Now let me go down here. This has a, a 9 volt a and 12 volt DC output as well as the 2 amp and 1 amp outputs. 2.1 amp and 1 amp 5 volt USB. It's 5, 5 and a half volt output. And you press this button to check your power. If you're using the DC output on, and on it, and it comes with these jacks, you can use with the uh, DC output. It fits the H jack that comes with it. And this is what the base looks like. Again, this came with the with a connector. Let me first only one fits in there. And the other side fits here. And you plug it into your amp and you're good to go. And again, you can see this is quite a difference in size, but this is 10,400 this is 15,000 and this has DC output capability this one does not but this will run pretty much anything that is doesn't require anything more than one, 2 amps up to 2 amps and anything between slightly under 5 volts let's say 4 volts to 6 volts um, you'll run pretty safely with this and you can always see how your power is doing um, I went for flight, running my battery down to about 30% power. I didn't on my flight, and you can see this thing is still fully fully juiced, even on um, roughly a 20-minute flight that I did. So um, really nice units. A couple of options again if you're going to be going with the newer version of the Sunhans amp, the, two, the newer two watt or the two and a half watt amp. You'll want to go with something like this that has a DC output. Um, if you're going to go with the older one, which is labeled as a 2 watt amp, but actually I understand that from some people that have tested it said that it does a 2.2 watt output. So, And I've been very, very happy so far with the difference that it makes. Like I said, expect no less than a 50% improvement in range, if not doubling of your range on this and if you still need more range you can always add a one watt amplifier to your phantom stick it in there put it through one of these antennas and and you'll be good to go um, and that's about it please like and subscribe